A special thank you to our main sponsor of the channel, Squarespace. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this year's video. This year's video. So this is a request and I feel like, right, I feel like I've not done this video before. If I have, I've done it once. Because I feel like when I generally say things, I kind of just say them as they happen. So I make predictions on things, but I do it in the moment. I do it on like a report or I'll make an off the cuff comment on another video and I'll say something. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think I've absolutely collated my thoughts into one video for the year. And I realized that is the style, that is how things are done, and a lot of people are doing it, so I thought, hey, we'll jump on it. Few of you asked for it, so here it is. Here is my plant predictions for 2024. And we're gonna keep it chatty, I'm just gonna tell you what I think. Why else? Why else? How else? Right, so I'll just preface it by saying obviously a lot has changed since the C word happened in 2020, and we've been on a bit of a steady decline ever since, so the market has definitely changed, propagation methods have changed and it's had a big effect, blah 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 blah. I think trends for what we like have changed a little bit. I think some people feel a bit fatigued by certain plants. We're kind of over variegates when it comes to spending like thousands on them. I don't think we will see a house plant that costs thousands for a while. I don't think. Mini prediction in my introduction. But anyway, in no particular order, I just want to talk about just some things that I can see happening and maybe why. So the first thing I've noticed is in the world of variegated monstera. We did have things try and creep up here and there, but I think the thing that will enter the market a little bit more and become a little bit more, how do I put this? It'll become more accessible and it will become more of like a household name in 2024, i.e. this year. It's really weird. I'm filming this in 2023. But in 2024, I actually think that the monstera mint is going to come into play a lot more. And in some senses, it might become the new Albo. Now, not in a sense where literally everyone's going to be wanting it and everyone knows about it, because I don't think that's happened. I don't think it's reached the point where people that barely know that a Monstera is called a Monstera and not a Swiss cheese plant, for example, I don't think they're going to know about mint yet. But I think this is the year that we're going to see it a lot more. I reckon, and I've got no evidence of this, this is genuinely a guess. If I've got evidence of something, I'll tell you. But this is genuinely a guess. I think nurseries are going to start having a crack at this as well, because the, the Albo's done so well for them. I think the mint will do well for them. So it wouldn't surprise me if there weren't nurseries in, for example, the EU or somewhere like that, that are trying to get these produced. Because the cost price of getting them in, I mean, I haven't bought one in, I think, for about a good year, but I th the cost price of getting them in has gone low enough so that people can start to kind of produce these now. I know I've had a few requests for them at the shop. I've just propagated my own supply, which there is not a lot, full disclosure, guys. This tray here? where I'm gripping with my hand in midair. That's Monstera Mint there. I have some other weird minty Monstera-y variegated things as well in the shop. But that is my mint tray. Full disclosure, I don't have a ton. But I do think it's going to become a little bit more of a vibe. Definitely. I think people are like, hey, it doesn't cost thousands anymore. Maybe we should get a cutting of it. Because one, again, with variegated Monstera, you can make a, a few a few pennies on the side. And two, it's just a nice sought after Monstera. Because in the world of Monstera, I don't think personally there are a ton of different plants that you can get and love, right? So what have we got in Monstera? We've got Monstera Deliciosa, small and large, various different variegated forms of, and if you're interested in that, I actually have a full video on Monstera Sports. If you're thinking, ooh, Monstera, what can I get in that world of Deliciosa? I have a video for you. I will link it in the description. But we have that. We have Adansonii as well. Is that basically the main Monstera that have ever kicked off, ever? <laughs> so mainly when you think of Monstera, the first plant that probably comes into your head is Deliciosa. And I think it's about time for the mint. I think it might creep in. Not at a ridiculous pace. And if it does, there's been a nursery that's worked on it literally from the get-go and it's got the jump on it. Other than that, I think we're going to see it creep in. Not garden centre creep in, but private sellers are going to start asking for it more and selling more of it in my opinion. And again, I'm ready to be wrong. I'm absolutely ready to be wrong. So this is a general statement I'm going to come out with next, and it, I will relate back to this here and there throughout this video. But my next thing I've got written down is there will be more acceptance of tissue culture. And I'm not trying to manifest it or any shit like that. I just think it's going to get to the point where if you can't beat them, join them. And I'll be mentioning this again further down my little list of things I've got to mention today. But generally speaking, the market is quickening. And I think it's getting to a point where you can't really, you can't not accept it because everything you're ever offered is tissue culture now. There's a few, you know, bits and pieces here and there with seeds and stuff that I understand that people are going direct to sellers and getting seeds. People are literally buying seeds now and stuff like that. That's cool. And I don't think that's going to decline. 
But I think because TC is becoming the majority of the market for most things, even variegates, by the way, it's not a surefire way of creating them, but obviously they, it can be done. I think it's inevitable that people have to just shut up and accept TC. And obviously, if you want to know where I stand, I'm in the camp where I think there's nothing wrong with it. I think it's fine. And I'm saying that as a seller that actually loses money by saying that, because I would prefer it to not be that way because I sell plants and I don't tissue culture my plants with the exception of the Delta Force that I sent off to a company to have TC'd. I don't tissue culture my own plants. I know people think that I do. Um, that's because I've done the odd video on TC and stuff like that. I actually don't, guys. I do not tissue culture my own plants. When I've got a tissue culture plant, it's been bought from somewhere else, with the exception, again, of the Delta Force that I had sent off. So I actually don't do that, and I don't gain anything by saying that. But I do think that it's just going to hit a point where people just have to accept it. They just have to accept it because it's it's going to be everywhere, literally everywhere. So I do think Ultimately, it'd be a good thing for reasons I've said before, you know, less poaching, less um, stress, I guess. We, we, I don't ever want to see a point like we reached in 2020 when people are walking around nurseries in the US with guns and stuff. Like, I never want to see that again. I'm sure none of us do. Things like that can't really happen when you've got TC. It's probably not going to happen. You know what I mean? There might be the odd thing here and there, but I'd like to think we're past that. And things like TC help us. You know what I mean? It, it allows things to be more accessible for all. And again, I'm a seller. That's not necessarily great for me. Do I want everyone to have plants? Yes, but I do have to make my own living. So I just think that it's, you know, you can't ignore it. I'm having to not ignore it, guys. As a seller, I'm having to adapt. All the other plant shops have had to adapt. It is what it is. And I think as soon as we just move on with that, the better. And then we can see where the market goes. That will have a knock-on effect, and I will explain what I think will happen later on, on that. If you're looking for a fast and reliable way to create and run your own website, you should give Squarespace a try. Squarespace is an all-in-one solution for creating your own website from scratch, using a variety of modern and sleek templates. They're really customizable, so you can have a website that's unique to your brand in no time. I've used Squarespace now for well over a year for the Red Plant Shop, and it's working really, really well for me. If you don't quite know where to start, you can always use the inbuilt wizard, which will guide you towards the recommended templates for the kind of website you would like to make. Once you have your selected template, follow the instructions on screen and you'll be set up in no time. If you want to create a really sleek looking website, either for an online store or maybe you're working on your own blog, check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you very much, Squarespace. And back to the video. I keep losing my notes. I keep touching. I'm obviously touching my phone when I speak to you guys. It's really annoying. Right. Next thing on my list. The, I'm saying that money from selling plants privately, shops, whatever, the money is going to be in the variegates and anything that tissue culture would struggle with, which I actually don't know what it would struggle with if it wasn't variegates. So I don't know what I've meant when I've written that down because I wrote this down maybe a week ago. But I think, again, I've said this before in videos. This isn't something I'm not repeating. If you're going to invest in something, maybe it should be variegated. If you're doing it as a shop or as a private seller to sell or something like that. I'm on about purely buying plants to make cash from. I'm not on about, you know, I'm not saying don't get plants because you like them. I've never said that. Purely in an investment sense, I think money is in variegates because I'm telling you now, just pro tip, because I'm struggling to do it as a business, as a private seller, you will never compete with tissue culture, okay? You will never compete with it. You just won't. The only way you compete with it is to buy it and sell it on. They, at the top, have made their bank anyway. They're laughing. They've got everything they needed. Now it's up to you to make your bank. Do you know what I mean? As a private seller, it's not really going to happen. Now, if you sell variegates, you've got a better chance, if you think about it logically, because the way to tissue culture a variegate plant, if you don't know, because I always kind of skip past this part, is when you're making them in the lab, right, okay, so you try and clone a variegated plant. It doesn't necessarily work. It really doesn't. And there's been some scams about, I don't know if it was this year or last year, where... Oh, what plant was it? Was it something like philodendron caramel marble where someone had TC'd caramel marble going, yeah, here's some variegated caramel marble and none of the babies were variegated and loads of people, even plant shops, invested in them thinking that they were somehow just probably going to variegate and there were a lot. I don't know, like 50 pounds, like a plug or something. That's like, what, 60, 70 dollars or something? Maybe it's, well, maybe it's even more. I don't know. Sorry, not very good with my conversions, but it was a lot of money and that shouldn't have happened. That should not have happened. 
happens. So moral of the story is one, don't do that. Two, tissue culture can produce variegates. One, by mutation, which is why we get all kinds of variegates in randomly. They just pop up. For example, I have two, you won't see them behind me, but they are behind me. I have two variegated philodendron atabapoenses that I very openly said on a video a couple of weeks ago, hey, this has probably come from a tissue culture plant. It probably just has. It just has. Um, so you get them that way. If you want to, say you want to tissue culture a monstera mint, it, literally tissue culture it, hope if the, there might be five mints in a batch of 500. I don't really know the statistics on it, so don't quote me on those numbers. But my point is you're not, you're not just going to get that by doing that. It's not going to work like that. So it's not the easiest thing to do. So tissue culture can do it. It's probably cheap enough to try and do it, but their yield is going to be low. It's going to be low. If you had a selection of variegates, uh, say 20 or something, you could probably come up with it just as fast. So that's what I'm saying there. I'm saying in an investment sense, the money is still in the variegates. It's, it's probably always going to be that way. If you if you had to go off gut instinct, I would say it's probably always going to be that way. I'm not saying there's a ton of money in it either, because obviously the market has changed. I'm just saying if you're going to hedge your bets, I'd hedge them that way, 100%. And if you're going to pick a variegate, make sure it's easy enough to propagate, but not too easy, not too quick, because then you've got the problem of everyone else is going to do the same thing and the market will tank because they're everywhere. So choose very, very wisely. Maybe I should make a video on that. If you're interested in another investment plants video, I will do one. Uh, spoiler alert, it's not going to be the easiest thing to do, again, because the market has changed. But if you are interested in that, please leave a comment and I will certainly tackle it. It's just going to be probably a lot different from the previous ones, but I'm all for trying anyway. The next thing that I have written down is something that I've come to learn very recently, and I am so sure of this. I'm actually really sure of this because I have seen some evidence, right? So I'm cheating, but not cheating because I had to go and find the evidence. But I think this next year in 2024, we are going to see a shit ton of philodendron hybrids. Now, I'm not saying they're all going to be variegated or anything like that, just interesting hybrids. For example, in the video I did, would it be two weeks ago now, uh, I did an extra video where I talked about a couple of philodendron hybrids that I bought that I think are quite cool and I think some of them may catch on. But I actually think they will and not those specific plants. I'm talking about hybrids in general, again, because tissue culture is not necessarily going to get the jump on this just yet. It, they will, don't get me wrong, they will at some point. People have to care enough though. These things have to do well enough initially for someone to start tissue culturing it, okay? So let's take an example. Let's take an example. Why not? Why not? Behind me, probably can't see. Oh, I'm leaning the wrong way. Apologies, guys. There's a tray here next to this dark boy here, right here, where I'm again grasping the air. In here we have, we have two plants actually. We have Philodendron El Choco Red, and then we also have, it's Philodendron Jose Bono crossed with Philodendron Sharonii, right? You don't need to care. Point is, that is a hybrid. For that to be tissue cultured, right? It has to do well initially on the market, probably for EJ people in Thailand to then maybe pick that back up and then start TCing it, right? In my opinion, I could be wrong. In my opinion, it's got to at least have some interest before that happens. So what's going to happen is if this plant were to take off or if any philodendron hybrid were to take off, people are going to start buying it a little bit more before they even start tissue culturing it, right? I think that's just the natural progression of things. We don't know what hybrids are going to catch on yet because they're only just starting to really be concentrated on. Again, that is some of the nurseries in Thailand, for example, combating tissue culture themselves. Again, all my theory, all my theory, you can throw it out if you want. That's why I think it's happening because, I mean, a little birdie told me a few things about tissue culture uh, the other week. Some of that I can't divulge with you because I would be risking myself as a business. But I think that the Thai are now struggling a little bit with some of their tissue culture plants because I think the Thai have kind of maybe realized, guys, maybe they flooded the market a bit too much. Maybe they flooded the market a bit too much, and I think they're realizing it. And I think things like these hybrids, some of the seed stuff. I mean, don't get wrong, some of the seed stuff. Be careful, because I've said this on a video before. Some of it are just sellers saying, oh, this is seed grown and not TC, because they're trying to combat the fact that people don't like TC at the moment. Not good. I've talked about that. We may see some scams like that next year. Mini prediction off the side of it. But I think a lot of the Thailand nurseries are starting to do this, because it's quite possible, guys, that tissue culture isn't quite making enough for them, because there is so much of it, they're having to sell it so cheap and they can't move it because from, from a seller perspective, when you're further down the run like I am, if you think of it like a pyramid, right? Thailand, say, we'll just say Thailand's at the top, okay? And then you've got Thailand, then you've got like big, big nurseries in other countries like Europe, US, whatever. And then it gets further down. I'm probably near the bottom. I don't think I'm the very bottom. You could call the bottom of the pyramid, maybe private sellers. Again, it's not like a hierarchy like that. Don't take that the wrong way. But I'm near the bottom of the pyramid, right? I'm just a seller in the UK. I think they've realized that that's the 
hard to shift that much product. And if we're lucky, they will still tissue culture it because it is the cheapest method and it's the best method and you can get variegates as like a, a byproduct of that. So they're always going to tissue culture, right? They might just do a bit less. They might just do a bit less. It, I don't know the space they've got. I don't know what they're operating with. My guess, after 2020, they were able to expand quite considerably. They will now have, if you think about Thailand, guys, they will now have full-on scenarios, lab set up, protocol established. They've got good at this now because they've made so much of it. I just think they've they've been very transparent and a little bit dick swingy in some cases i love to say this they've been swinging their dicks a little bit about how much product they've got and as a result what they did not think of was the rest of the internet would sit there and go oh well it's not rare now shit well god if you've got ten thousand of them i'll just wait six months i'll be paying no money at all and as soon as that happened and i've mentioned this before with the spirit of sanctity this very thing happened this very thing happened it's caused an absolute crash in tc stuff and that's why the market is the way it is this is why we have shops closing it's it's been a bit of a mess it's been a bit of a mess especially this last year it's really like even i felt it this year full transparency even i felt it this year loads of shops have closed loads of the shops have changed their business models and we're all just trying to adapt that is how it is i think the thai i'm, I'm saying the thai i'm not blaming it on anybody by the way i'm saying thai i know there's other countries there's indonesia blah 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 i think even china's starting to dip their toes in this shit now i would argue they're a bit late don't know what their plan is but we've got other countries doing it as well i'm not trying to alienate thailand so please don't think i am but generally speaking, I think these hybrids are coming out. One, they're cool. I'm I'm ready to be refreshed by them. I feel refreshed when I think about philodendron hybrids, personally. So I think you guys will too. And I'm happy to make content on it because I think you'll enjoy it. But I think these philodendron hybrids are actually going to refresh everybody, both at home. I think the people making them are going to have a bit of fun making them. Thailand, wherever, Netherlands, you name it. I don't know. I don't know everywhere. <laughs> but I think they will do well. Will they take off? Mm, it depends. It depends how pe quickly people are going to tissue culture these things. And if they go too rabid with it, then no, they won't. They'll go, Phew. you know what I mean? Because the market now has literally become who can get there first, who can get the quickest jump, who's then going to slash their prices, who can then slash theirs lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. That's where we're at. So I'm all for these hybrids. I don't think they should be worth a ton of money or anything. I think they should just go back to say 2019 prices, maybe where a plant like a nice hybrid might cost high double digits or something like that. I think that's quite a nice place for these plants to sit. Again, I'm not trying to predict prices. We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. But I think that's a really good thing. And I'm, I'm talking about this a little bit more, I realize, than other things, because I think that is the thing for this year. If you could ask me what the thing for this year was, I would say that. And I would say, I mean, I would say hybrids of other plants, but I've said this before. Philodendron are king. Philodendron are king. I think they always will be. Second, I would say Monstera. Third, I would say Anthurium. So I welcome these hybrids, and I would like to see some nice stuff. Hopefully they won't get gate kept too much. Uh, there was that hybrid, was it this year or last year? I can't remember what it was. Was it like Gloriosum by Maximum or something? Or something else? Can't remember. And then there was a whole thing about only certain people can sell it, propagated, blah, blah, blah. And that's lovely, but I don't think it's done the plant any good from a business perspective. I don't think. I think now no one wants to touch it. So that's a bit of a shame. And I haven't uh, kept up with that or got new info on that. I just, that's kind of what I remember about it. But yeah, to top that off, there will be hybrids coming. I can guarantee you, it's not really a prediction. And I've seen evidence of it. I've got three in. I'm telling you in advance, guys, they're probably coming. So I'm, I'm sort of cheating, sort of not cheating. Um, and I think we should embrace them. I actually do. I think it's going to make us feel refreshed, I think, on the plant market. Because some of these hybrids are very nice. And I will link the video I made on three of the hybrids down below for you. But I think they're going to be really nice. The one behind me is, is very pretty as well. The Sharonii by Jose Bono is really, really nice hybrid. So I've got high hopes. I've got high hopes. I just hope they don't get pumped out to death. I would like to actually enjoy the plant a bit because i feel like we're not enjoying them enough because it's moving too quickly it's like you don't even know what you're looking at half the time because things are coming out it's like oh okay what what's next what's next what's going on what's going on we're just being force fed this stuff it's we're not even being spoon fed anymore we're kind of being drip fed by force um a lot of these plants and it's taken the fun out of it it certainly is for me and i do this as a job what does that tell you? Anyway, I'm going to move on from that. That's kind of my bit. But I'm telling you now, philodendron hybrids, I'm so sure of it. I'm so sure of it. Right. Connected to this, we have, let me check the time I've been filming for, is that a 20 or a 28? Oh, it's a 20. We're good. We're good. Sorry. I know this is kept very informal. Connected to this, anthurium hybrids, because me and Ben had a chat about this the other day. And Ben, just to stick in his prediction, is adamant that anthurium hybrids are actually going to do really well this year in 2024 and they're going to boom and everything else. I did 
disagree with them. Now, for me, it's going to sound overly harsh, but I've always thought Anthurium generally, I don't want to say they're a niche. <laughs> But they are lowest in the pecking order when it comes to aroids, in my opinion, in my opinion. I think, obviously, in like California and places like that, they do really well, right? They do really well. Um, they grow better out there, etc., etc. There are a reasonable amount of uh, anthurium lovers in Europe. It's Germany, Netherlands, things like that. Get it? Great, cool. But for most of us, can't really be bothered. Can't really be bothered. There's some nice ones. Don't get wrong. There's some trusty ones. You know, everyone bought the crystallinum because it's good. Blah, 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 blah. But I don't see people having huge anthurium collections. I think it's just certain people. So for the people saying that the hybrids are going to be a big thing, because again, there's loads of seeds being crossed and stuff like that. Very cool. Not knocking it. But I think it's going to remain, I'm going to use the word niche. I don't think it's going to become mainstream and I don't think everyone's going to be rushing to get them. I still think philodendron is king. I think it's always going to be until there's like a new monster that comes out for a bit right literally so i'm going to disagree with his prediction i don't know what other people are saying about their predictions by the way i think a few people uh, youtubers or whatever might have come out with their videos already i have not looked at anything i've recorded this on is it the 20th today it's the 21st of december today i'm, I'm recording this i haven't looked at anybody's shit at all um so i don't know what people have said i don't know if people are gonna say that they think that's a thing uh i'm putting my two pennies worth in as we say in england and I'm saying that it's not. I'm saying we're going to see some cute shit, but it's still going to be very much niche. I know that Thailand has picked up Anthurium a little bit more. They never used to have any in, you know. Little nugget for you. When I went there in 2020, just before the C word kicked off, um, no one really had Anthurium in. Literally, every nursery I went to, guys, the whole thing was filled with like Monstera, Philodendron. I went to some Hoya nurseries, but like they just mainly did Hoya. But the, the amount of Anthurium, you could confine it to one little bench. And I mean like a two by two meter bench because I don't think they grow very well for them out there for whatever reason. Don't know what the reason is. Maybe it's a bit too hot for them. Perhaps. Not sure. The like, humidity is good, but maybe it, maybe it's just a little bit too hot. I'm not sure. But I know they brought more in to Thailand and they're, they're doing some stuff, but I, even then I don't think they're mad keen on it. So I think it's still going to be niche. There's my prediction. There's my prediction. Uh, types. I've, I've got two comments that are very similar here and it's just a comment on things that I think... Well, the first one is something I think might make a mini comeback. Not like, oh my god, viral. Just something that might pick up a little bit and I've got written down aglaonema or spathophyllum types might make a bit of a comeback like for example the pictum tricolor and again I'm not saying it's going to climb in value or anything I just think it might have a little second wind some other aglaonema types like I've got quite a few manila manila's pride is that what you call it in things like that so not every aglaonema obviously but some of the cute types I think they might pick up I've also written obviously spathophyllum there are some nice spathophyllum out there guys and my god spathophyllum is so tough I haven't met a shit one yet. I haven't met a shit one yet. Um, they definitely are creeping into garden centers more, so you can get them on the common end, but you can also get them on the more bespoke end. I've got a few beautiful, I don't know if we decided they were, was it a variegated Picasso or something? No. I can't remember what we said they were. They just came to me as like variegated spathophyllum hybrids, so I don't know. Obviously, I held it up in the last video. I will hold it up for you again. Give me one second. But shit like this, again, not saying it on a value basis. I'm saying it on a popularity basis. This is spathophyllum. I mean, I call them spathophyllum ghosts, for example. Shit like this. I think we'll make a mini comeback. I think we're ready for something a bit bushier and to not have things on a pole and, you know, to not have crawlers that we have to keep chopping because they're crawling off the pods. I think we're ready for just a little bit of ease. We're ready for some nice little bushes in the corner that are just going to look nice and just look cool. Tell us when they want something. You know, I think we're ready for a little bit more minimum effort. And I think that definitely on the spathophyllum front that it can sort of provide that. So I've got no evidence for this, by the way. This is not something I've got evidence for. Literally minus numbers of evidence. This is just my guess. But I do think that they will do well. Not amazing. I'm not saying go out and buy a shit ton and start selling them. I'm just saying I think they will they'll, they'll have a nice um, presence on Instagram and stuff. I, would, I really hope they do because they're very nice and even I'm getting into them a little bit, you know. I think a lot of the time working with all these guys, you can get really fatigued, you know. And I mean, I'm bound to be fatigued. There's thousands in here. If you could see what I see right now, you'd be shocked. <laughs> you would literally be shocked. So there's something I think might make a sort of, I'm using the word comeback, but take that with a pinch of salt. Um, something that I think might be a bit more up and coming and I do have a variegated, a variegated, I do have a rare plant index on this coming. I know I haven't saw 
slaughtered it. I'm really sorry. I know I've been barking on about it. But I actually think that homolamina might have, not every homolamina, trust me, spoiler alert, I don't think there's tons of amazing types. I think a lot of them are quite samey. But I do see the odd type, maybe five different types, coming onto the market this year now, 2024, um, and doing all right. I have a ghost type that I hold in for you now a couple of weeks ago, watching this channel. Um, I have a ghost type that I hold in that I'm going to grow on and get that cute. I have I have another type that's variegated. I'm actually not sure what that is. I think it's just Rubescence Varigatha or something. That's nice. But I tell you something, there's some really nice ones out there. For example, Homolamina Pink Diamond, right? Hopefully I get a really nice picture for you. Nice plant, guys. Nice, nice plant. Nice alternative to a pink princess. Guarantee you it's probably easier based on my experience so far with Homolamina. Um, it's going to be really, really nice. Someone with a keen memory might remember that I bought one in uh, a while ago. So one, that died. Two, when I bought that plant in, I didn't realize it was just a variegated plant because the whole thing was kind kind of pink and faded down to green. I actually don't think that's what it is. I think I was sold something that probably should have been binned. I'm not sure because it never grew well and eventually it died. Couldn't sustain its own growth, which tells me that it shouldn't have looked like that. The Homolamina pink diamond that I've seen, it is very much green with variegation. And it's basically if you crossed a pink princess with a Homolamina, for example. Now, I haven't got any of those in. I'm not saying this with an agenda or anything like that. Literally, I wanted to get some in actually, but I think I didn't because me and Ben basically had an argument about why that pink diamond died. Ben seemed to think it had a load of green on it. It didn't. It was literally pink, if you remember. But anyway, so I'm not saying that with any agenda. I just think, for example, stuff like that will start creeping in. And it's kind of following the same rules as a spathophyllum. It's a little bit bushier. It's a little bit easier. It's a bit different. It's still heart-shaped. Still got a bit of pink, a bit of variegation, blah, blah, blah. I think they might not take off. Again, I'm not predicting an absolute... Whew, I'm just predicting something that will become more prominent and a bit more loved and it will get a bit more attention this year. I keep wanting to say next year. I do mean this year. If I ever say next year, because I'm filming it in 2023. <laughs> right. Really, really obvious um, prediction to make. And I'm actually going to, I'm going to entertain the, the flip side of this coin. But I've obviously written down that the market will be generally very fast paced th uh, this year, mainly because of TC. And it's for everything I've explained so far. Now, the things that will slow that down, the only thing that will slow that down is if the companies in charge of the tissue culture production artificially slow it down to get profit. Um, that is kind of my prediction. I know that without uh, without saying too much to hurt myself, I know that other countries are now focusing on different plants, should we say, um, of different types and less so on aroids. They've really cornered their production of them and they're now dabbling in other things because they, I think they know, and I, this does bring me back to what I said earlier, they kind of know they've exhausted it a little bit too much. They've, they've bled it dry a little bit. Um, so I think if the market slows down, it's because growers either, you know, the big nurseries, which to be honest, they probably have to put things out at certain times because they run a bit differently than EJ, Thailand and Indonesia. But I think things will slow down if they go and artificially slow it down to try and raise demand. If they don't and they keep it the way it is and they move on to production of, say, other plants that aren't the aroids that we tend to buy most, then the market would slow down, but it probably won't slow down yet because everyone's got them. Shops have bought stuff in cheap. They need to sell them or whatever. There's not really demand. It would take a long time for the demand to come back up unless it is funneled down by the growers now in a very controlled manner. No evidence for this at all on this one. This is just my guess. So if they don't and all the sellers move on to other things, then you've got at least a year before things start to pick up again. Things just have to run dry. People have to not give a shit about the, I don't know, the 20 quid Spiritus Sancti that they bought that it's dead but I can get another one anyway it's fine I care more about this other thing and then they realize shit now I can't get another one and then it starts to creep back up that's that's the only option really I think I think it would take a while for that to happen so that is my prediction on that I know it's a very obvious one um, but I felt like I had to say something on it and I guess it rounds back to what I was saying earlier so what else do I have oh the, my last thing that I have to say and it's not really a big thing <laughs> I don't know why it's it's not really again this isn't in order the last thing I've got to say is that the the dark shit guys the dark Dark shit. We're going to talk about dark shit very briefly. I think dark shit is going to be just as powerful in this year as the variegated shit. 
Again, I think some of it is due to things being more affordable. So all the green shit is very affordable. Okay, if you're not going to spend the money on variegates and you're going to be that, because not everyone likes variegates, you know, I think the natural thing for people that don't like variegates is to probably lean on the darker side. So things like he is behind me, of course, mysterious dark boy, anything he represents, not him specifically. I call him that if you're new here, because I don't know what he is. Um, he's beautiful, big anthurium, don't know what he is. He's possibly a uh, red beauty, not certain. I don't think he's Mudinum, but basically shit like that. So I have written down, I think, I wrote a couple down. One was definitely the Forgetti Eye, the dark Forgetti Eye, for example, mysterious dark boy, so Mudinum, whatever. Anything dark that is easy, because I know we can get a lot of dark colocasia and they've been out for a long time, but I also think that it's hard to keep them dark. So I guess what I'm saying is they're dark stuff that stays dark. <laughs> So dark stuff that doesn't have to be kept ridiculously hot or ridiculously high light and stuff like that. For example, him behind me, I know he doesn't. I have babies of him in this tray that are staying dark. He doesn't need much to keep him dark. In my experience, again, if you've had experience with this plant or similar and it contradicts mine, absolutely put a comment below. But in my experience, it doesn't. Um, dark forgetty eye is just dark. It's just dark. Feed it. Feed it feed it um, and it will stay beautifully dark for you. Things like, um, I'm actually looking off topic, I'm looking at philodendron luxurians right now. That's very dark. Dark things. Luxurians maybe not included because it's not the easiest to look after. Completely get that. But dark things that are easy, I predict will, again, not take off. Not take off. But they will become a thing. If I had to say something that would actually take off based off what I've said, because I realise I've kind of put a damper on everything and said, oh, it's not going to go crazy. Um, I've said that because of the way the market is. Obviously, There's, the market is not as... Um, it's aggressive, but in a completely different way. It's aggressive if you're selling, to be honest. It's not aggressive if you're buying at all. If you're buying, it's probably an armchair moment. Um, but it's not aggressive in terms of people are trying to buy things and they can't get them. So I guess... Mm, Hybrids, maybe. Not a ton of money, though. I don't think they're going to take off hugely, but th that's going to be something that will definitely have an upward sort of trajectory. Um, and Montserrat Mint, I would say, would be the top ones. So that is a really... Ah, it, it's it's convoluted. It's not really a bullet point list. It's more chatty, and it's more just where I think the market is and where it's going and why. And some things I have evidence for, some things I don't. And I think I've told you every time that I've had evidence. Let me just triple check for you because people pick me apart on this shit all the time. I think my evidence was the hybrids and something else I said. I can't remember what I said. Something else. But one of them was the hybrids. So generally, they are guesses apart from the hybrids that I think are definitely, definitely coming. I hope they do well. I really do. It's the one thing I'm actually excited for. I think I said when I hold them in, like, I'm actually excited about these. They've got me feeling excited. So I actually hope that that is shared with you when they come out, because it has been for me at least. So I don't know. I don't know if everyone's going to feel the same as me, but never know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it's what you came for. I hope it's the answers that maybe you were seeking. I don't know. Let me know if there's anything I said that surprised you. Let me know what absolutely did not surprise you. Let me know what you think generally of my my reasonings. If you think I'm wrong about something, cool. We'll chat about it in the comments. No problem at all. Um, this is just my prediction. I'm just one person. I sell plants. I don't buy them in as often. Um, I know people in other countries that sell them. I know growers. I know suppliers. I know other shops. Like, you know what I mean? I know things. I don't know at all. It's just my opinion. There'll be, for every opinion I have, that someone will make a video or a post or say something that completely contradicts it, and that's absolutely fine. We haven't got there yet. It's in the future. So let me know what your prediction is in the comments below if you really feel up to it and you want to sort of put your money where your mouth is, metaphorically, so to speak, and I will read them because I want to know what you think because it's, the thing is, for me as a seller, I can think a certain set of things, but I am no longer the person sat in their living room going, oh, I might get that. Oh, actually, I quite fancy that. I'm not that person anymore and I haven't been for a while. So your opinion might be completely different to mine. And I would genuinely love to hear that opinion if you are of that persuasion, should we say, or you're in that situation. So thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I hope it was entertaining. I hope it was at least somewhat in insightful. I don't know. And I will see you in the next one. My merch, I'm still wearing it from the last video. It is down below. It's just a bit chilly in here, so I have my jumper on. Merch is in the link down below. You can buy that from my little online store. And, oh, feed, feed. I'm saying this. I hope it's on Amazon by now. It might be. I don't know. I'm filming this ahead of time. If not, then there is also a link in the description for this as well. I will keep you posted on that as it happens. So, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Please leave a comment down below and please like this video because it lets me know that I'm making content that you enjoy. Thank you very much and I hope you've had a great new year. Bye guys.